Hello, Liberty family. We are John and Vanita Bradley, co-pastors of the Sunday Terrific Ten family, and we're so happy to be here with you this Sunday morning. Today's um, daily um, devotion is on Mark 11 and Proverbs 23. Mm -hmm. You know, throughout the book of Proverbs, there are three major themes that run concurrently throughout it. One is on wisdom, mm -hmm. the other is on knowledge, and the last one is on understanding. And you hear quite a bit about all three of those. Yeah. But in chapter 23, Solomon doesn't talk about any one of those three themes. What he talks about is one of my favorite subjects, <laughs> that being eating. Yeah. Well, in the first verse of chapter 23, it says this, When thou sittest to eat with the ruler, consider diligently what is before you, and put a knife to your throat, oh my God, <clears throat> if you are a man given to appetite. Mm. Now, he doesn't mean this in the literal sense, of course, to put a knife to your throat. I think that um, what he was saying here is when you sit down to eat, um, don't pig out. You know? Especially if it's free food. Yeah, especially if it's free food. <laughs> <laughs> so I think the more sobering message, though, is he was saying be temperate in all things, whether it be eating or your conversation yes. or the way you dress. And the list goes on and especially on and on. Especially in a social atmosphere. Especially in a social, uh, I, I yeah. do agree. Especially in a social atmosphere. Be temperate in all things. I think yeah. that's the central uh, nugget that he wants uh, us to get to. I like that. That's very good. Very good. Um, I did Mark 11, and what stood out to me was verses 14 and verses 23. I like verse 14 where it reads this. Then Jesus said to the tree, talking about the fig tree here, mm -hmm. he said, may no one ever eat from you again. Wow. And his disciples heard him say it. I like it that Jesus spoke to that tree. It was full of leaves. He was hungry. He was a ways off. He saw the tree and he thought, whoa, whoa, this is right on time. I'm going to get a chance to eat. Then when he got there, it was no figs. Wow. I like it how he taught his disciples to speak. Speak to the tree. Speak to the thing. Um, and then in verse 23, it says, I tell you the truth. If anyone says to this mountain, go throw yourself into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but yeah. believes that whatever he says will happen, it Amen. will be done for him. Amen. I like it that Jesus was teaching his disciples, yes. speak to your circumstance. Yes. Don't necessarily pray and plead and beg God about it, but speak to don't your circumstance. Do you don't right. have to do that. Speak to your circumstance. Amen. Use the authority that I've given you. Yes. I like that. The I, word is nigh thee, even I love in it. your mind. I love it. I love it. And even in a day where, you know, you people say, well, you know what? If you're talking to yourself, you're crazy. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. I think that this was very unconventional. <laughs> and I think that Jesus... Jesus knew exactly what he was doing. I Amen. just, I loved it. That's beautiful. It spoke to my heart. That's beautiful. Well, Liberty family, we've loved being with you for this very brief time, and we look to um, see you again. We invite you all to join us on these devotions because we are just having such a good time reading one yes. chapter from the New Testament, one, one chapter from the, from the Old. old. Yeah. And we just, this is your personal invitation to come and join us. Okay. See you later and have a great week. Bye. Bye-bye.